Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a watermark logo in Premiere Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got two pieces of content. This video content I downloaded from Pexel's website. I'll put a link to that same content in the YouTube description. I've also got my logo here on a transparent PNG file. So it's important that you have a transparent PNG. This will give you the best results. So let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro and we'll take the video and the logo and drag it into the projects here. Let's take the video content and drag it onto the timeline and it will take our logo and we'll drag that onto the top layer. So now you can see the logo here and we want to stretch this logo so that it fits the full length of the video and just keep stretching it for however long your video content is. Let's click on the logo and we need to reposition it. You can have it in the center if you want, but I think it'll be better in the bottom right hand corner here. So we can use the position tool here just to move the position of the logo. We'll move it across here and we'll move it down to here as well, somewhere like here. And we want to make that much smaller so we can use the scale tool to scale it in to around this sort of size here. I think it will be pretty good. So you can adjust your logo accordingly and we'll just drag it down to here. Now we've got a permanent watermark logo in the bottom right hand corner. You could have it in the top, any of the corners, wherever you prefer. Now, if we were to click the play button, we can see the seaside and the water and we can see our logo sitting here. But it'd be nice if that logo could fade in and out at the beginning and at the end. So let's go back to the beginning of the timeline and we'll go over to the dissolve tool here. So under video transitions, we'll click dissolve and we'll have additive dissolve. Drag that to the beginning of the logo here and then also drag it to the very end of the logo here. Now we click play, we should see the logo fade in. And if we go to the end of the timeline and click play, we should see the logo fade out. So that's how you can quickly add a logo um, overlay using Premiere Pro. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Let's minimize this and close this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.